Any sign of them? No, nothing. Let's search the town again. <laughs> yeah. Look at all those lights. They're pretty keen to find us, huh? We'd better steer clear of Heliodor until the heat dies down. All right, through the Mangle Grove and onto Cobblestone. Let's do this. once Another one?
Aha! Another one bites the duck. Swan some.
Look at that. A campsite. And just when we needed one. It's still a fair... I still can't get over old Dirk. He didn't just go straight, married, shop in the best part. We used to be thick as thieves. <laughs> Literally. Oh, speaking of which, I just thought of something we acquired back then that might come in handy. Yeah, I've decided. I'm giving it to you. You'll love it. <laughs> we sure did when we got our hands on it. Behold, the Fun Size Forge. Pop a few raw materials on top, bash them with the Porter Pounder, and bops your uncle. And I'm not just talking steel swords and the like, wooden boomerangs, a natty new jerkin, you name it, this thing can make it. Sweating over a hot forge was never exactly my style. You can't just go smashing stuff together willy-nilly, though. You'll need the recipe for the piece of equipment you want to make. Here's a little something to get you started. You should... There are recipes hidden all over the place. It, treasure chests and bookshelves are always a good bet. Keep an eye out and you're sure to find some beauties. the clock. One, two, three, look out, trees. Oh, a woodcutter's life is the... <laughs> what in the world? I repaired the bridge only yesterday. Ta-da! You called? Tricky devil at yourself. Ah, 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 ah. 
I went to a lot of trouble to smash at this stupid bridge. I'm not about to let you fix it again. Here, get a load of my devilishly tricky shapeshift beam. <laughs> One minute you're a silly old woodcutter, the next minute you're a smelly old dog. I'm a devilish genius. <laughs> now, what mischief shall I get up to? <laughs> Bye, doggy. Stay. <laughs> treasure chest. I think I've just hit upon my most devilish... What the heck just happened? You touched that plant and then I saw all this crazy stuff. You really expect me to believe that this mutt here is actually the woodcutter? Huh. There's never a dull moment with you around. I'm gladder every day I broke you out of jail. Well, all I know for sure is that we're never going to get out of this forest until we get that bridge fixed. And if what we just saw was true, Rover here is the only one who can fix it. Why don't we find that chest and have a word with our mischievous friend? Let's head back the way we came and see if we missed it somewhere. Seriously? The only thing I'm shocked by is how lame you are. What did you just... Oh, cheeky devil! Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you for my next trick. I'm gonna beat you to a pulp!
Andy Hammond. Looks like the joke's on me, Vic. Hey there! Oh, look! It's our pal the Pooch. Not anymore. Thanks to you, I'm back to my old self. I'm Flint the Woodcutter, by the way. And I owe you more than words can possibly say. How can I ever repay you? <laughs>